Hi guys and welcome. Day one competition here at Kuta Beach, Bali for the uh, King of the Groms. <laughs> Tell you what, these look like the best Grommies in the world. You ready Groms? Yeah! Alrighty, let's get it on. First memory of surfing in a contest is a um, is a Newcastle event, and it was the under 14 schoolboys. That was sort of the precursor to all the Grom events that are, you know, held in various um, countries around the world now. There wasn't a massive scene when I was a kid growing up, but you know, there definitely was events like that. I mean, it, it's sort of what got me going, and um, you know, I started competing when I was 12, and and uh, turned pro when I was 15. So I kind of picked it up pretty quickly. Uh, I think I'm the only one grommet in Chimaja at that time and uh, yeah, pretty much I win every contest. <laughs> when I was growing up, like, we were uh, in the Cottesloe board riders and stuff, so it was like um, you had all these older guys pushing you and, and, and stuff like that and, um, you know, for, for these kids, like, they have so many contests here in Bali, it's just really cool for them to, you know, hang out together all the time and, and become really good friends and, you know, I've got lifelong friends from you know all the way through in surfing, so it's it's pretty cool. Gram, uh, that there's not much uh, surf, surfing competitions going on in Bali. The only surfing competition that we have is uh, an open division, you know. So we have to surf against like uh, the older guys. I remember I have to surf like against like Wayne Picha one one time, you know. He's like way like uh, over my generation. I've got an older brother and a younger brother and a younger sister, so we're all pretty competitive, you know. A couple of brothers is always pretty good to you know push each other to you know catch the biggest wave, get the deepest barrel, and and uh, you know, push each other. So I was like always really competitive, you know, I love competing and love trying to win trophies. I guess surfing was, was that thing that, that, you know, they say everyone's got something in life. I found my something uh, was surfing and I found it pretty early, so. What we can see now, you know, you see a lot of parents bringing their kids to the beach, you know, especially to surf events. And like the, their kids can see like the older kids, you know, like uh, can be as a, you know, a role model because there's like, I've seen kids like, nine years old already competing on this King of the Grom and they're gonna see like the 12 years old as a role model and then the 14 years old as a you know another role model it's really healthy for you know for, for the kids to hang out with kids their own age and and uh, sort of learn the ropes the ins and outs of, of competitive surfing you know it's sort of getting them adjusted for for what's uh, about to happen later in life well there you go folks that's a wrap of day one of the competition here at Kuta Beach Bali for the Quicksilver King of the Groms be sure to tune in tomorrow as we see who's getting the trip to France and crowned King of the Grummies. Till then, see you next time. Yoo.